Today is January 30th, 2014. We are at the cusp of Super Bowl Sunday. I know everyone's prepping for it. Before we go into some uh, helpful hints for your party that you're throwing, we're going to go down to some uh, the nitty gritty. Today the Dow ended up positive at 109, ending at 15,848. The Nasdaq was up 70, ending at 41,28. And the S&P was up 20, ending at 17,94. Right now, currently, interest rates are hovering between about 4 to about four and a quarter, depending upon how you lock, if you vote your interest rate. And that's a big reaction to the Fed announcing on Tuesday that they were not going to in, uh, increase the interest rates for the next six months and stuff. So good news. Right now, it's tremendously busy out there. It is, safe to say, a seller's market right now. There's still a lack of inventory. There's more buyers than sellers. That'll probably start changing within the next six to 12 months with interest rates steadily coming up and stuff so this week we have the Denver Broncos plus two against the Seattle Seahawks in Super Bowl I believe XLV1 I don't know what Super Bowl it is sorry guy at the end of this video blog I'll tell you my prediction who's gonna win though uh, we're gonna go switch over to one of my favorite things about a Super Bowl is the food you're probably gonna be inundated with pizza uh, chicken wings Nachos, my favorite, this new one right here, according to Pinterest, is you grab the Frito uh, Lay's chips. You can get these right here. And it's pretty much pepperoni and some mozzarella cheese. Put it in the oven for about 15 minutes, and you have, it's a hybrid. It's between a pizza and a nacho. Uh, I'm going to try this one here. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to see how it comes out on Sunday. It looks fabulous. looks delicious. Thinking outside the box and stuff. So a couple party events that you guys would want to do is, I had it up here, I lost it, is as opposed to pin the donkey, uh, we last year we did was pin the field goal. So you get, you know, some duct tape and you put a field goal up on your wall and then you blindfold someone, you pin and see which one can get it right in the middle. It was fabulous. We had a great time. It's a party favorite. We're probably going to do that again. It's a little messy though. Uh, staying along with the Super Bowl theme. For, for all of you guys, you diehards that are considering buying a new TV, I would go the alternative route. Go with the Brookstone Pocket Projector Pro. It is roughly about $440. It, it, from six feet away, it sh pretty much goes about 100 inches in diameter, which is, you know, last time I saw 90, 90 inches were running about three four $4,000. So if you're considering getting a bigger screen, as long as your light's dim, um, low enough to see the projection you can light this up you can connect it next to uh, your live feed on your computer your TV your smartphone your tablet it's a neat project it's on popularmechanics.com it is essentially uh, eight gadgets for hosting the most ridiculous Super Bowl party ever they'll go over a bunch of other ones but that was my fan favorite and stuff so now for the prediction uh, the big prediction I am going with the Seattle Seahawks, it'd be a small upset. Bear in mind, they're minus two points. They're two-point two dogs. I think they're going to pull it off. I'm a big fan of Russell Wilson. I'm a big fan of Richard Sherman. Great guys. I think they'll they'll take out Peyton Manning. If you guys have any questions, we just closed a single-family residence in the city of Shadow Hills, Sunland, California. Um, we have a land putting under contract in Pasadena. Uh, we have a, a new four unit that we have in South L.A., we have a bunch of new properties coming out, especially in the next week or two. We have another off-market deal uh, that we just got in Silver Lake. Uh, give us a call. Like us on Facebook. Uh, give us. You can email me at charlie at Coronado RG. You can like our fan page at CoronadoRealEstate.com. Take care, guys. See you guys next week. Go Seahawks.